thank you for the introduction. We're really delighted to showcase at today's event. I'm Kirsty, co-founder and CEO of Sinisca, a discovery stage biotech spin out from the University of Exeter. We are world leaders in the molecular biology of aging and have developed a new patent protected approach to treat age related disease. Aging and age related disease are driven by the accumulation of senescent aged cells. Removal of these cells has been demonstrated to bring about rejuvenation of old animals. Strategies for their removal include senolytic approaches to kill senescent cells or senomorphic approaches to rejuvenate them. There may be advantages to a rejuvenative approach since many disease relevant tissues are cell poor and some subsets of senescent cells are actually beneficial. Senisca is a pioneer in the rejuvenation of aging cells. Most genes are capable of producing more than one message according to the needs of the cell. The ability to do this is crucial for cellular health and successful aging. The decision of which forms of RNA are produced from a gene in response to any given challenge is made by a group of proteins called splicing factors. At Sinisca, we have discovered that levels of splicing factors decline with age, but that when we restore them to youthful levels, we can rejuvenate cells and target the causes of aging, not just the symptoms. This is a platform technology that could be applied to any disease driven by senescent cells. At Sinisca, we will apply this first to diseases with accessible target tissues and to diseases with high unmet clinical need. We have identified the underlying path pathways behind age-related splicing dysregulation which has allowed us to identify and validate four genes, which when targeted can rejuvenate senescent cells. Our initial indication will be idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, known as IPF. Three million people worldwide have IPF. Currently available treatments cannot stop or reverse this disease, but only very modestly slow it and do not work for all patients. Sinisca's technology promises to not only slow this disease, but to potentially stop or even reverse it with greater efficacy, lower toxicity, and more specificity. Our timeline encompasses two complementary approaches. The main modality is oligonucleotide pharmaceuticals. Oligonucleotides are short DNA or RNA molecules that are custom built for precision alteration of gene expression. Globally, one of the fastest growing drug development sectors. We are currently progressing several lead drug candidates towards ex vivo test phase. The second modality is a small molecule approach applied to skin aging. This is a self-contained targeted piece of work with cost neutral research due to the award of a £240,000 Innovate UK grant. And we are in the final stage of negotiating key terms for a global licensing deal with a large US-based cosmetic co-development partner. We recently designated global territories for protection of our background IP. Future IP will be tailored towards each indication and is supported by a strong and established R&D base, including protected access to 30 million pound plus world-class RNA lab facilities provided free of charge to Sinisca by the University of Exeter for a minimum of seven years. This lab access, together with our long-standing expertise in senescent cell biology, presents an extremely high barrier to entry for potential competitors. Our team consists of Professor Lorna Harris as CSO, myself as CEO, and Dr. Ben Lee as CTO. In addition, we have some very relevant people on our scientific advisory board, and we have recently appointed Scott Beattie, ex-CEO of Elizabeth Arden and vice chair of Revlon, as board director responsible for Sinisca's skin aesthetic commercial programme. Our £1.3 million launch seed round closed in March this year and was heavily oversubscribed, providing us with a 12 plus month cash runway. We're opening a new £1 million financing round next month as bridging finance ahead of a larger three to five million pound seed round towards the end of 2022. Today we are seeking new investors to join our existing venture capital investor syndicate. 
We are also looking to expand our scientific advisory board and exec team early next year. I would love to speak to anyone in the audience today who could help. And lastly, we have various exit scenarios, sale or license of each individual disease area asset, or when the time is right, of course, either a full trade sale or IPO. Thank you very much for listening today.